Hello. I have headphones in. I don't know why I got so close to the camera. I'm extra. What's good? Welcome to Ask for Sunny. This is Sunny Nagini, Queen Nagini. And I'm just going to give you a little rundown as to what to expect from my channel. Okay? I posted a few videos and I sporadically post um, some opinions uh, that I have where I stand, you know, in regards to my spirituality and, you know, some tarot readings every now and then. And I just kind of want to, like, formally introduce myself. I know this is a little corny. I don't see a lot of people doing this on YouTube. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm extra. So I don't really give about what people are doing on YouTube. I want to build an understanding with the collective and people who are following me. Um, my YouTube page is to be used for something else. So I have subscribers on here and they're going to be like, well, what the fuck is this? What is this girl talking about and what's going on here? Bear with me. Okay. I'm trying to put you on to what's going on. So I am spiritual. I am a fashionista. I am always trying to lose weight. Uh, I'm about my money and I always have an opinion. Okay. I think that pretty much runs it down for the most part so what we want to get into first let's get into the inspiration behind my shit talking videos eh? now i am grown and i feel as a grown 30 year old black woman who pays her own rent and takes care of herself i get to use my mouth forever what i for whatever i want to use it for and if I want to use my mouth to cuss, I'm going to cuss. So I'm here to let you know that I cuss a lot, okay? I cuss. I cuss, okay? Sometimes I look at my videos and I'm like, girl, you cuss a lot. But it's like, I make my videos in the spur of the moment. I literally sometimes am walking around my house like a bandit. Just, this is why I call myself a shit-talking bandit. I'm walking around my house. Walking, walking, walking around, and I got this on my mind, and I'm talking to myself, and I'm, as, I'm like, I might as well spit this game to the phone. I'm talking to the ethers, you feel me? I'm, I'm talking to the invisible people in my home. I might as well be putting this inside of a video, okay? Because I'm pretty sure this is probably entertaining to someone outside of myself. And outside of it being entertaining for myself, it's also healing, it's therapeutic. Having these opinions, not really having a place to share it. I realize a lot of platforms is really not for like the public speaking, having opinions, shit like that. Um, and I feel like YouTube is a perfect place where you can actually share your opinions and make your opinions, your content, uh, and in a healthier way. I don't know what that even means. But <laughs> a lot of times I will feel a certain type of way or I'm triggered by something and I'll just pull up my phone and uh nah, 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 and you get what you get. Okay? You get what you get. Now sometimes what I am triggered about can be anything. It could be my experience working in the fashion industry, it can be my opinions of you know or the reality of me trying to lose weight all my damn life or about an outfit or about something on youtube or a reel or instagram or tiktok that i saw that triggered me and that's the thing here's here's the thing i don't think we realize how much millennials are attached to social media we get heavily triggered and i do reaction videos and never post it so i'm like you know what since you want to be so trigger happy and having opinions and shit, you might as well build on it and make content from it. And then also, maybe you can dissect it and get a spiritual message out of it. You know how many times I've gone on, on a tangent and then me going on, on a tangent and leaving myself open to hear myself out loud? God has used it as an opportunity to learn from myself, to learn from the way that I'm thinking, why I'm thinking that way, and why it's a message, and why is it something that not only I'm going through, but a collective. And then I build on it. Okay, I think it's kind of genius, you know, in my opinion. Not the too, too, beep, beep. But yeah, so that's part of the channel, okay? 
And I do work with tarot cards. I am not a psychic reader. I believe in energy readings. I believe that things, people are actively going through shit in the world in regards to energy and how they perceive life and how they're feeling what's going on around them. And sometimes I'm going to share those messages. Free game. Okay. Um, my intentions is to share my wisdom because God takes care of me, takes care of my material needs. And I don't need to hold on or like lean on my spirituality to make money, but it doesn't mean I shouldn't share it. You feel me? Of course you do. So that's where the inspiration behind my videos come from. It comes from sharing, you know, my wisdom. Like I'm 30 years old. Obviously I have a lot more to learn. Um, and I'm not going to be out here just like giving people readings and things like that, because I feel like sometimes people tend to lean on other people for spiritual knowledge. And I've learned so much by being in isolation. I've learned so much by being alone. And it's not to say that I have not been influenced and I have not had people who have been somewhat of an internet mentor to me that I was able to go to and learn from. However, I really suggest people to focus on developing a relationship with the Most High, the Holy Spirit, the ancestors, and Gaia to have a better understanding of their body and what they're going through in life. Um, so my energy reads, my intuitive reads is honestly what I felt on my heart to share. Okay, nothing else behind it besides that. I kind of feel like, I'm not going to say it's charity work, but I kind of feel like it's community service because of the fact, like I said before, the most high takes care of me. Um, and I can be shallow. Like I'm, you get what I'm saying? I'm the fashion girl. <laughs> so I feel like I need to be doing something that is rooted in and create content that's more than just sending people to spend money and to buy this and to buy that and having all these opinions about shit. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's even better when you can also provide content that is also earthly and worldly and, you know, down to earth, but then also be able to provide a deep, insightful conversation that requires you to use your third eye. You're welcome. Now, another thing that I want to document, and that's going to be a part of my YouTube, is my health journey. I feel like in a world where it's very superficial, it's all about appearances, it's all about looks, um, and we, we talk about health, but I feel like when we talk about health, it's always surrounding a visual. It's always uh, surrounding an appearance, an aesthetic. And for me, I don't think that I'm an aesthetic blogger um, or lifestyle blogger. Like, I'm really out here trying to heal myself as a black woman coming out of poverty. Okay? A fat black woman coming out of poverty. Fabulous. But fat. So, I want to talk about the connection to growing up in poverty and having an unhealthy relationship with food. Unlearning uh, unhealthy habits about myself and my experience of how I'm treated and my experiences of the world and things like that and just my whole journey. You could definitely expect that from this page. Um, and I'm not trying to shove anything down anyone's throat uh, as far as what you should look like, what you should be, what you should be eating, what's right, what's cute, what's not. Because, honey, I'm not here for an agenda, okay? Ain't nobody cutting no check for me to be a part of no agenda. And I don't think they got a check fat enough for me to be out here quoting somebody's agenda. So with that being said, um, when I speak about health, it's from a very authentic place. And it's from a place of me dead ass trying to heal myself. And I feel like you can learn from that shit. And I also feel like people who view and look at fat people would just think that they just fat and incompetent and just lazy and, and just have such derogatory attitudes towards fat people. I'm here... To put my fat ass in your face and show you something different. Maybe you can learn something. Now, this doesn't mean that I don't participate in things that's unhealthy. For instance, watch this. Watch this. And I keep I keep wine in the house. Okay? And I'm coming back on smoking weed, but I definitely smoke weed. Okay? And I got a pot roast in the oven, not in the oven, on the stove. 
Yeah. So, I'm not here to put out, like I said, a uh, uh, lifestyle that I feel like everyone should be following. I feel like life is all about the yin and the yang. You know, you take a low, you know, and living a balanced life and being healthy. And what does that look like for me? And how do I navigate through that for me? Okay? So, that's what that's about. Now, aside from that. So we talked about my spirituality. We talked about the house, the health stuff. And we also talked a little bit about fashion, right? Did we? I don't think so. Let's talk about the fashion. So I've been working. I went to the high school for fashion industries. I graduated in 2011. And I literally have been working in a fashion industry since uh, I graduated from high school in 2011. So yeah, like, you know, slight little OG and this shit. And I make a lot of my own clothes. Okay, original, original, original. And eventually I will be selling product. I will be selling merch. But I'm not rushing to do that. I'm also here to just share fits uh, and share what is it like to to dress your body, whether it's dressing for your body type or if it's just getting fly and just giving you some inspiration. Because I really do feel like I don't do enough for these fits that I be wearing. I go to work and I come home and I be fly as fuck and I ain't going nowhere. So somebody got to see it. Let's get YouTube. You finna see it. Yes. So what you can expect from As Per Sunny is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm going to try to be consistent and post at least once a week. All right. And yeah, that's what you can expect from my page. That's what you can expect from this channel. And um, at some point, I will create playlists to organize the videos because I will be giving a bunch of different content and that you'll be able to see and, you know, organized by spiritual messages, fashion and health and fitness or whatever the case may be. Um, but in the meantime, just be prepared to. It's a variety show. <laughs> As per Sunny is a variety show, honey. It's a variety show. Where I just give you pieces of me um, living in casual opulence, you know, and giving all presents to the most high and allowing myself to be a servant to my purpose, okay? And allowing myself to operate and allowing the Holy Spirit to use me and guide me. And I am not perfect by no means. And I'm not going to pretend to be. And I'm not going to say I'm your spiritual guru or none of that shit. None of that shit. I won't even lie to you, Craig. I won't even lie to you. I'm going to spit my game as I, as I can and as I can give it. Respectfully. Um, keep your comments respectful. A lot of you won't. But that's okay. Thank you for the views. And thank you for tuning in. And I hope you enjoy As Per Sunny as I'm living this life and giving it to you authentically. Bye.